Yeah, what's up? Look, my advice today is like this. Analytics, right? Very important when it comes to social media. Like, what's your engagement? How many people this? How many this? How many views that? How many X, Y, Z type of stuff, right? So I was just sitting here thinking like, oh, you know, why don't we really use these analytics like in real life and base them off of people you know, you know what I'm saying? Like friends and associates, you know what I'm saying? Then I started evaluating, thinking even deeper. And I was like, you know what? We need to come up with a method or understanding. And because I already did this, you know what I'm saying? It's like out of all your people you associate with, like look in your call log. All the numbers that's in your call log Because you know iPhones only keep so many So all the numbers that you talk to so much All these people that's involved in your life right? Let's do an analytics evaluation of this right? Take ex-friend right? And say you've known this friend For five, six years right? Okay, five, six years Now you see this ex-friend I've known for five, six years How much money have you made dealing with this friend like you know say we do an evaluation like we we doing taxes and doing your business evaluation type of shit right so you're going to say you've known this friend for five years right and each year you evaluate like oh how much money have we have i made have we made together have i made from you have you referred me any people to come shop with me or to come buy my business and get a plate of food or to come buy something from me or to come use your services come get their car painted Anybody, you know what I'm saying? How many people has this person, you know, brought down your lane, came across your, uh, just into, into, into your business stream to help you, you know what I'm saying? Spend some money with you, support you in your business. Like, out of each friend you have, like, what's the number? Like, did you do the math and see, okay, this friend, this ex-friend, I dealt with him for five years and I've only made, let's say, $500 total. You know what I'm saying? Within five years of knowing his friend, but you spending so much time running behind them. They want you to pull up, you pull up, you doing all this stuff with this person, with this ex. And you look at the time versus, you know, what the benefit is. And then not even on top of that, because then you look at your situation and what you're trying to accomplish, where you at in life. Like, what do you have and how much further you have to go to get what you want type of shit, right? So then you'd be like, damn, yo, maybe if you buckle down and focus and, and didn't waste time dealing with people who are not, you know, you're able to build with, like, for real build. Because a lot of niggas, they be talking about build, but they only want you to be a tool to help them build. So, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas eat. You don't eat. They give you a, a, a percentage. Not even a really percentage. Them niggas. Yo, man, I'm going to tell you something. Yo, niggas out here is crooked. What I mean by crooked, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you one thing that people would do. Your best friend, your homie, your next, whoever. This is what they do. Them niggas would be like, yo, they got somebody. And this is how this is how it works. I seen this with my own two eyes. They got somebody like, yo, I got this artist that that you know looking for some studio time, wanna wanna book some studio time, I wanna buy something from you. However the situation is, is is third party type of shit, middleman type of shit. So with the middleman, which is your friend, this is what they'll do. They'll tell their partner, oh, you know, I know a nigga, like say for instance, in my case, I know I know a cameraman, he shoot videos, he do some dope edits, you know, he charge it, you know what I'm saying, around right about 500 to shoot a video, right? And he tell, that's what he's telling his boy, you want a video done, my boy, he could do it for like 500, trust me, he dope, he this, this, and that, X, Y, Z, this, X, Y, Z, that, right? So then you look at it like, oh, yeah, where, yo, I could pay that 500 straight, right? And so this is what the other person's saying, and so... When they go up here to deal with you, now me and me, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm the person who's supposed to shoot the video. They say, hey, bro, you think you could, you know what I mean? Shoot my boy a video, you know, this nigga, like, he only got like 250. You know what I'm saying? Come on, come on, come on. So now he done cut the 250 in half. You see what I'm saying? So you done cut the 250 in half. And now he begging you to do this job And then he's telling you like Oh, you know, we ain't got to do too much You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to really make it that We ain't got to have so many locations We, you know, we could just do it right here in the crib You just pull up, man We ain't got to, you know, so we ain't got to talk right there You know what I'm saying? So now he just told this man 500 Told you, can you do it for 250 And then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you go to here, go to money, you get paid And nobody really, you know what I'm saying? You don't pull up like, yo, man, you know I don't know me don't do shit for this much and all that Nobody really talks about it. Somebody knows what kind of finessing been going on. But it's mainly some big boy finessing 
that goes on out here. So that's why I'm like, yo, back to the subject, back to the topic. You have to have the analytics of your friendships and shit, and the associates and things like that. Because in business, in which we all are in business, you might not like it, you might not like, you know what I'm saying? But okay, well then don't, because somebody will use you as a tool to help them grow their own business. And then you're just going to be like, you know what I'm saying? Strung out, <laughs> rinsed out, left out, you know what I'm saying? Ran over, you know what I mean? Drain for no reason with no nothing after that. So, yeah, this is what it's all about, man. We must start evaluating the time that we spend with people on the level to where <clears throat> is this really a good investment? Am I really investing my time properly? Am I really maintaining and maximizing the most I can get out of my 24? You know what I'm saying? Am I really headed toward these goals? You know what I'm saying? Because just wanting something, oh, uh, yeah, you know, I, 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 and no serious plan, like no real plan of how to get there, how to get it. Nigga, that's just a wish. You know what I'm saying? That's just something that maybe it happened, maybe it might. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? But you're not in control of making that shit happen. You got to get in control of making it happen. You know what I'm saying? You got to be in control of what you want to happen. Constantly working, constantly putting in work. See, I don't really be playing around. A lot of people don't hear, see too much of what it is. But now let's start, you know what I mean? Spreading our wings a little bit. But like I said, yo... Evaluate your friendship And if I'm your friend And one of your associates And you ain't made no money for me Then, you know, let me know Let's evaluate how we can bring them numbers up You know what I'm saying? Let's bring them numbers up Because I believe That out of all your closest friends and associates You should at least be making $1,000 a month From each one of them At least 10 bands a year per friend And per associate that enters into your life Is the key you know what I'm saying? To stay successful, to get up there, man. You got to, you know what I'm saying? All my friends are billionaires type shit. You want to be saying that, right? So, yeah, keep it on those level. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? That you really associate and spend most of your time with, let them know, like, look, bro, we got to come up with a plan, figure out something to where we could at least be generating $1,000 a month or something. You know what I'm saying? That's a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But that's the place to start. So, yeah, that's my advice to you, man. Is stop spending time. In places where people don't appreciate it and you can't benefit and it doesn't benefit you. It doesn't even benefit you to help others. You know what I'm saying? So you're in a lose, 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 lose situation. It's time to get into a win-win situation, man. That's what it is, man. I'm Charlie Ferrari, the Ferrari Now Show. We just trying to keep it, keep you motivated. You know what I'm saying? Hustle and motivate, man. Quit wasting time. No procrastination. Let's get something done. Accomplish your goals, man. Reach, reach, reach.